Hello my planner pals. Today we've got a spread in my business planner and it is for the currently page. So last month I did my currently page and I did it in just gold and kind of black with a, I guess these kind of letters are blue, a bluey gray. And I actually loved this. So I'm gonna go with something a little bit similar but with a twist. I'm going to use the Girl With Goals book and I'm thinking about using these big stickers, these big kind of double wide box stickers for this because I didn't really need as much space as I thought I did. Um, so that is the plan. We're going to take the currently page out and do that. Now I also have the um, accessory book that I might pull from, Girl With Goals again, um, because I wanted to do this, and I don't know whether you can see, but it's kind of a silver, it's kind of a silver metallic, um, which is unusual for the Happy Planner stuff. They're usually golds and bronzes and all of that. So that is the plan for this. For my business planner, I typically need a box for working on um, my website, a box for working on this YouTube channel, and then a box for um, keeping track of Patreon and Etsy. So really I only need four boxes and then maybe a kind of general to-do list, I wanna say, down here. So that is the plan. And I'm gonna start off straight away by putting this box in here. Here. Now I could put it straight in here, but I kind of feel like I want to put it a little bit further down and cover this little bit up because I don't really like that bit. So I'm going to put it a little bit further down and put it there. And I might change these headers. So I, that's going to poke out the bottom of that. So I'm just going to wipe that little bit out because don't need that little bit. So that's two of the big boxes. Um, don't need those. So I think in the sticker book itself, I've used a lot of the stickers from in here, but I think that is it for the big wide long wide stickers. So there's these, which I thought about bringing in because it's the same silver. We shall see. We shall see. Those are weekly goals, so I don't want to bring those in. Could bring in that grey. So we could bring in the grey and we could bring in this silver. I'm going to have a look at the accessory book just to see what is in here. I like these. These are on a silver again as well, so that's nice. Those, are those silver? silver? Ah. Sometimes it's really hard to tell. I think those are silver. Okay, so we could use those as well. Are they the same? I think they are. I think they're the same. So, I've got box options. So I'm thinking two little boxes down here. Oh, I just ripped that sucker. It's like sometimes I'm finding, and let me know if this is the case for you, I'm finding lately that they're not cut all the way through. I mean, you can clearly see that there's a little, um, a little bit there that's not cut all the way through, which is kind of weird. So do I want to put those that way or that way? I'm thinking that way so that they go in the box because if I put them that way they're going to be too yeah they're going to be kind of butt up next to each other and that kind of annoys me that that's under black so let's put something black underneath there I've got a believe in yourself but that's in gold oh oh don't want to bring the gold in work 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 or anything in here this little thing. I mean, I could bring in the purple. 
good for a spring in the purple. I kind of wanted something that could just sit underneath it, not be a whole block of colour underneath it. I think that's the only rectangular things is at the beginning. Hmm. My temptation is to go to black and I would like something to match that, but I don't have anything to match that. And I'm loath to use just a black box underneath there for that one thing. I don't know why I get into these weird things in my head. It needs to be black. I need to put these down somewhere so that they're not on my hands while I'm trying to look through books. So because I've used this design, this square thing, I don't really want to bring in this. But it might have to be that. I've got some quotes that I can put in that are in the same silver. I've got some grey there. I haven't got any of these things other than the purple. Oh, I've got these. Oh, so that one is the same, I hope you can see that, as the same thing, but in a different color scheme. It's the the silver on, on the black. I'm gonna put that in. I wanna go there, I think. And then we'll just have two boxes. Okay, now I feel like I need another box here, maybe this purple. So there's that one. Let me just do a little kind of layering thing there. And there, Staggerty Offset. That's the technical name. I don't really like it. Ah! I don't really like it, guys. And it's annoying. It's the weird shaped boxes. Oh! Okay, well, I guess that's that box done. Good job I've got another one. Not my fault. It was already ripped because it wasn't cut properly in the book. I can't... Mm, oh, shoot. Is that... Nope, it's not. Okay, that's staying there then. It's this, it's this, I don't know. Do I just need to cut it? Is that it? Find the other silver box. And be more careful taking it out of the thing. Yeah, that one was a little bit stuck as well because if I put them that way they're not going to fit but if I put them that way they will I feel like I feel like I want this poking out the bottom but now this is here oh gosh and now I can't get it up because it's going to rip oh oh I'm going to do the same thing I'm just going to cut that bit to make it rectangular rather than having that little blocky bit out the side using my all of my weird words all right so I put that there I could just put that there or the black one there and then layer that one there yeah so I'm just kind of lining it up into that corner because then I think that there but this one Kind of here, a little bit further along. Oh, maybe I can try and line those up. Oh, I like that. 
because then now that bit lines up. I hope you can see that. Focus. So now the design lines up. And then we put those there. Yes. And that just adds a little bit of interest into that bottom bit. Not straight. Straighter. That's straight enough. Straight enough. All right, so that is website, channel, Etsy, and Amazon. So what else did I have on last month? I then I had a basically just a to-do list. Yeah, I just had a to-do list here, but I had some kind of inspirationally type things that I added in as well. So let's see what quotes we've got in this book. Because these are all kind of, yeah, they're all kind of smaller. I've got some little to-do flags. I've got some little flags I could use. Work for it, you do you. Don't ignore your potential. You got this, babe. I feel like that is this month's quote. So I also feel like that one needs to come in because it's the only one now of that design that's left, which is annoying. Maybe I put like a top three or something in there. I was going to get that quote. My brain right now is done, is absolutely done. I kind of want to put that there and I kind of want to put that here somewhere. I kind of want to put that down here or something kind of to um, counter that. But then what am I going to put here? Mm. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I'm going to put that bit there. You got this, babe. You got this. I feel like that needs to be the theme of my month. Certainly for today. I am just, my brain is just not working today. So maybe I put this here, that there, I'm going to cut that off. I feel like maybe a black box or something here. Oh, I could just put that there. And I could just throw this in the planner punch thing. Really? Planner punch thing. Wow. You know what I'm saying? The the, the, pl the punchy thing. All right, so let's find a piece of paper and then a pen. Yep. And make ourselves a bottom border. Oh, it's got that on, so we're going to have to cut it a bit, a bit more. So because it had that little diamond on, I just had to cut it a little bit more than I had originally, just to make it fully 
covered and rectangular. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. Do I want to put that there? There's a box on top of it. I feel like that's too near there, so no. So no. If I put it in, I won't have to get the punch out. Does anybody else do that? Like, if I just move it away from where I originally planned to have it, then I won't have to punch my page. Because as much as I don't mind punching my pages, sometimes just getting things out feels like the most chory thing in your life. Okay, and that's going to go there. Okay, and then I need something for here. I need to get rid of that little bit of paper that got stuck from that sticker. Okay, there we go. I've got nice work, or I could put something else in. Maybe I put a couple of little flags in. Can we stand up, please? Thank you. No, no. these as well got those star things lots of stars for some reason I feel like I need something to fill that little gap in and then I'm thinking nice work I don't know it just seems like it's gonna fill that gap nicely and then we put that there. All right, so the other thing that I need to figure out is um, what I'm gonna do to put in what they are. Because I like how this purple matches this and this, this needs to change somehow. big enough no okay so this needs a different header on it I could just white it out and then put something in quick look through the book oh we've got these things they're um, clear but I know that I've got a paper one somewhere. I only got a couple left though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Your potential is endless. I mean, I could bring in this. It's not really the silver, but silver. What have I got that's silver? I've got washi. Do I want to bring in the washi? Does that go? Kind of. I could bring in a little washy there to cover that bit and then let's um let's try that see how we feel about that that's not straight though is it put that there and i could bring in a little bit here too I mean, obviously, I'm going to trim that edge. I'm not going to leave it like that. And then I could use black letters. So the question is now, do I want to put that on there too? That is the question. 
Oh, and I had this one as well, the polka dot one. And these were from the um, like the celestial thing. There's a pack on Amazon. I'll link them in the description. But these are probably one of my favorite washies. I love using these. Um, I am tempted to bring in a little smidge down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half so it's a thinner smidge. I hope you know what I'm talking about because sometimes I just don't even know. Just to bring in some of that there. Because I feel like that's got silver on it. That's got silver on it. The silver here, the silver here, the silver there, but now there's no silver here. So do I change that? Have I got a black box that says priorities or something on it? But that brings in that purple, so I didn't want to do that. No, no. What I need to do is bring some more purple in somewhere. That's what I was doing before I got completely distracted. Um, so this, I kind of, I need something purpley up here. And it might be these. I might bring these in. It might be these, and I just bring one of these in here. Oh gosh, I'm just so hesitant to put it down. It might just be that. Website, YouTube, Etsy, Amazon priorities. That's all I really need. I just like to overcomplicate things. This is where I wish I had um, the, what's what I'm looking for, the thinner, mm. the thinner silver pen and I don't have one anymore um, I used it all up so do, I might just wait until or I could just do black I could just do black and I if I use a sharpie it should go over this over this fine so yeah I'm gonna do that okay I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna put this back in the planner and I'm gonna do that and that will be my spread I'm gonna do it in black pen all right, so that is my page for um, my currently for my business planner, and that is totally blown out on that that you can't really see. There you go. So you've got a nice silver strip here, silver here, silver here. I would have liked some silver in this, but you know we got a little bit of silver here, and then more silver in here. So I hope you enjoyed this. Kind of give you a little look um, into my what I do for my business planner for my currently page. If you enjoyed this, then give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye. All right. So I've just added everything in that I need to kind of track. So I'm just going to put in the difference between March and April. And I've put in a little box here for um, my payday just to see if it's any different from the month before. So I just added a couple of extra things because... I can't stop myself. <laughs> All right. Now we're done. Now we're done. All right. Goodbye.